talk a little bit more about flags and reminders. So I see about 50% of the email that actually reaches me. And the reason I only see 50% is because the rules handle the other ones. Let me dive back into that for just a second. So if I come in here and try to create a new rule, come into my inbox and let me create a rule for um, all emails from Chris. So I'm going to do a right click, rules, create rule. I'm going to make this one an advanced option here. So when I get emails from Chris sent to this particular email address, I want it moved to a particular folder. Now, when you check something up here on top, you're going to you need to check down here to see if you don't need to click a link and specify something down here. So it does want specified folder. I better tell it which one. So that will be CTS. And I also wanted to assign it a category. Maybe I want to assign it the CTS category color. I tend to do the colors associated with the organization, if it's at all possible. So it's easy for me to go from their literature and seeing this blue that CTS always uses to go, yeah, blue category, that's CTS. So I try to use logical colors. Let's just take a look at some of the other things I could decide to do here. I could decide to display a specific message in the new item alert window. Now, that's one I've used a lot. If I'm on a project that's nearing deadline and I have a web developer out there waiting for me for information, I don't want that email lost in the first 50. I want to see a message pop up going, hey, here's an email from uh, your web developer. He needs something. And so you can have a display in a new item alert window, display a desktop alert. That will come out down here uh, to play a particular sound to mark it as importance. We're going to go ahead and click Next here. You can even specify exceptions. So I want to hear if these are from Chris, uh, except if the subject has um, some form letter subject that I know is coming out of a system and it's not really coming from Chris, but it's a regularly generated report that's coming out. It happens to show up from Chris. So I can say accept if I want to and specify the exception down here. And then, of course, I can specify a name for the rule. I can call it anything I want. And then I can choose, just like we did before, to run it right now. This, by the way, is an awesome way to clean your inbox. This is a great way to clean the inbox. So uh, I, you can write a rule, and then you can go in and delete it. I'm going to hit Cancel here and show you that if you wanted to, up here in the Move group on the Home tab, you can see all of your rules and alerts by clicking on Manage Rules and Alerts, and you can choose to delete or change them right here in this list with Change Rule or Delete Rule. You could do a whole class on just rules, but I wanted to, to make sure that we had adequately covered rules.